The nutritionist and celebrity health coach Karina Heinrich joins us to tell us about some hydrating snacks when water starts to get a little boring. And I have to say that is <laughs> yes. one of my biggest factors. Water, you know, it's just so bland. Mm. How can we, you know, make it a little bit more interesting Spice it up. To, to drink more of it? Yeah. I love adding fruits and veggies to water to help add all that flavor. You can finely slice small cucumbers, add to a large jug of iced water, sparkling water. You can use things like mint leaves for digestion and berries, sliced oranges, lemon, limes, all things that are already in season. So really easy to spice things up and change the flavor. And so from what I understand, there's also like things that you can not just drink, but actually eat that's going to help with your hydration as well. I, you know, I think about like watermelons and it has the name water in it. I think about grapes. What are some <laughs> other things that you can actually add to, you know, the, your little lunchbox for the kids that are out at the pool that'll help them keep hydrated as well? Absolutely. So things like strawberries are really healthy, obviously, but contain so much water. 91% of strawberries' weight comes from water. Other things like cantaloupe, 90% water. Peaches are really nutrient dense and really hydrating as well. Over 90% of their weight is from water. So it's really easy to add things to smoothies, salads, take on the go. You can add a cottage cheese yogurt. So it's easy to get hydrating foods, not just the water that's boring, but really feed them the water. And now when I think of summer, you know, I think of ice cream, ways to cool oh, down, yes. all the sweet <laughs> treats come to mind. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what are some healthier options that we, you know, as adults, parents can indulge in, but also the kids too? Yeah, absolutely. So I love bringing my kids into the kitchen, getting hands on. I can teach you a really quick guilt-free two-ingredient banana ice cream recipe. Tastes great. They won't even notice that it's not like full fat and sugar ice cream. You just get banana and some peanut butter, put it in a blender, about four to five ripe bananas, freeze for around four hours until firm, pop the frozen banana, two tablespoons of peanut butter and high powered blender, and you've just made the most delicious ice cream. You can also make your own popsicles, which are really easy as well. You just blend a large peel. We like to use mango, but you can use whatever fruit you like and whatever in season you can get your hands on. Lime, lemon with water. You can also add Greek yogurt to add to protein and calcium, and you've just made an amazing, popsicle for your kids and get them in the kitchen and let them make their own too. Absolutely. And you know, last little question here is what should we avoid? What foods should we not eat that might kind of steal some of the moisture from us? Yeah, anything that's really salty. So even if you're eating nuts and seeds, which are so healthy, opt for the raw and unsalted versions. So if you're eating things that are really high in sodium, check those labels. You're going to want to up all of this water and tea, especially during barbecue season when you're barbecuing meats that might have a higher sodium content.